Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we were continuing to focus on the war we are fighting. Things are going pretty well. We have the Lozavada Combine almost completely locked down. We have the Jehetma Dominion almost completely locked down. We need, then need to start heading into the Confederacy of Panasu Prime. Uh, we'll get there uh, eventually. We're kind of blocked by... In the Mirovania Commerce Guild by a couple of planets that had FTL inhibitors, but it looks like they've been disabled. But we need to actually occupy those planets in order to fully disable them. But other fleets can move through those areas if we have those. So, like, uh, you know, the Pilgrims or something can head on through. We're probably going to jump a few fleets uh, into this area here. And start uh, knocking stuff down. So, we'll get to that. Uh, we're still on a deficit of rare crystals, but we still have a pretty good stockpile. So, no real concerns there yet. Um, we're getting that uh, rare crystal megabore um, built here. It's going to be done eventually. 146 days left on the current construction stage. I think we have like one or two more after that to actually get it to start producing. Uh, the EHOF is still upgrading, but that should be done uh, eventually here. I think it's like 400 days left on it. And the pylon. The pylon is at 178 days, so that should not take too much longer either. So yeah, we're just going to continue to focus on uh, burning down the enemy and... Um, Winning that war. And, uh, yeah. Just keep on working on it. We're starting to occupy their planets. So, now that is the other project we are going through here. This is now done. Is there any more... Planets that we need to look at. You've been occupied. You've been occupied. You guys are ready to move on to something else. Uh, there is this planet here. You have four armies, but we should be able to deal with that. And, uh, yeah, so far, the, uh... The, what are the eyes? I always forget. The Alliance of Civilized Worlds I have offered uh, precious little resistance. They, they I think we've only lost a single Corvette to any combat so far. We haven't seen any ships, nothing. So they're, you know, they're just, there's really nothing to write home about here. So we're just going to keep grinding them down. And just keeping an eye on our fleets, make sure that nobody is sitting idle. Everybody is still, you know, keeps working. And actually, are you? You need an admiral. They are assaulting our spaceport. Daily hall regen. Daily. Trickster trait is, is kind of useless. Uh, logistics, I don't really need. need. I guess we'll take, uh, Croc here. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Alright, yeah, we are landing on that planet. We should be able to take care of it. Hopefully we don't lose any troops. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it once it's done. Alright, second fleet is sitting idle. All right, we have a few planets over here that need to be dealt with, but these guys will probably take care of that. So, second fleet, I think, will start moving into Panasu territory.
Yeah, they give me four ships. Four ships. Yeah. Large psionic shields. Check what kind of weapons these guys have. Plasma throwers, torpedoes, swarmer missiles, and an arc emitter, and as and some hangers. Uh, the unified Bulgar Empire now has a very large minority that has embraced xenophilia. Not only is it an idea, but in practice, it is no longer usual to see mixed species couples in the cities of the empire. This means that the xenophilic philosophy is now firmly entrenched. However, due to persistent and apparent unresolvable difficulties in making genetic codes and reproductive organs, in some cases compatible with each other, this has hit the birth rate. Oh well, whatever. Alright, how is it going, actually? Uh, one disengaged. Got him down to four. Alright, we got some combat finished. Because we might have some fleets to give orders to. So we might you lose a unit there. Oh, uh, we could always train more troops. Charles is 130 years old. Vivisani, the Alliance of Colonies, the Blessed Mishar Empire have closed their borders. Yep, we're down three assault armies. All right, that's not a problem. Uh, let's see. The Vega system should be able to train up some troops. There we go. Get those going. Grab this fleet, send it over there to occupy that system. And then we might send these troops over here. Eighth Fleet is sitting idle. All right, where to send you? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. We're actually not, not that far. I'm gonna tell you to head through there. Yeah. Do that. All right, so we got an archaeological site event. The excavation is completed. It's part, the excavator has completed as part of the excavation and drilled the tunnel. The drilling unit is now ready for deployment. All right, good. All right, anything here that we need to make note of? Doesn't look like it. Nothing. Nothing. All right, I don't care about the closed borders. Ongoing battle here. Come on, zoom. Uh, 
There's a bunch of transport ships over there that are going to get uh, eliminated. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, nothing lost there. Field hit points up. All right, what's the cheapest one to do here? Energy credits from jobs, building cost. We want to go for military ones. Energy weapon damage, sure. Let's do that. Administrative capacity increased. We're going to go for army health. We lost a Corvette. Oh, how about that? All right. Replace the Corvette. You head over there. Seventh Fleet. Go ahead and occupy that system. Are you on to anything else? No, I don't think so. Well, then head over there, take care of that. Yeah, that's the Corvette we lost. Nothing lost there. Mm -hmm. I don't think the second fleet isn't doing anything. Well, it looks like it's got reinforcements coming in, so we'll wait for those reinforcements to uh, link up. That's an interesting system. Enemy is targeting one of our stations. Initiating ground assault. Crystal Megabore main hub complete. All right, yeah, we'll head over there and, uh, 100,000 fleet strength. Apparently, it still needs a couple ships. Go ahead and order those. All right. Head to the Panasu system. All right, Crystalline Megabore. All right, get the next stage going. All right, and you head to the Lloyd system. You did not lose any units. The Primordial Pylon has completed construction. Excellent. That means we can now actually freely move vessels back and forth. Excellent. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. 
fact. Uh, let's get our space amoeba to uh, jump through. Alright, third fleet is idle. Go ahead and occupy that system. Fourth fleet, I want you to jump. Into the Omega Sagittari system. Actually, no, head here first. The Overlord has arrived in the Ross 154 system. I'm going to start moving the Overlord into Miravandia territory, because we might need them. Zoclan's Pilgrims. Uh, you head to that system. What I might do is have the, the pilgrims take up the bombardment. The pre-industrial civilization on Dressel 3 has finished construction of several printing presses. These machines have enabled them to produce written material in great quantities, resulting in a primitive form of mass communication. A few leading figures within their society have done their best to stifle this innovation, but their efforts have thus far been for not new ideas are spreading rapidly spreading across the planet with profound societal effects. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I might have the Well, actually, I think we're ready to just go ahead and land armies there. All right, Celestial Body Weaponization. Locate Attack Moon Candidates. It's an edict. Okay, and a megastructure, Attack Moon. All right. Hyperscale Stellar Lifting. Actually, no, let's... Yeah, yeah, we'll go for it. Get the mega structures. We can worry about upgrading our ships later. Why is your combat power so low? All right. Keep on. Oh, that's right. They have a planetary inhibitor there, but we'll just go the other way. Fleet. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Our warriors are victorious. Um, that went quickly. I'll take it. All right. Well, then the fleet can move on. So now we need to go in edicts, and we need to find huh. 
I'll map the stars. We might as well do that. I don't know what this is, but we're going to do it. Okay. Uh, locate attack moon candidates. A survey of Empire's various small moons and planets has been concluded. All potential attack moon candidates have been cataloged and can now be found in the expansion planner. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so these are all... Oh! So if I wanted to say find a black hole, I can track all the black holes on the map. I see. Very interesting. All right, but in the expansion planner, How will I see an attack moon candidate? Ah, attack moon candidate. I see. Where the Wolf 359 system has a barren world that is an attack moon candidate. Wolf 3594. Hmm. So, how does one build an attack moon? Uh. Is it something here? Attack Moon Construction Site. It counts as a megastructure. And I think it becomes mobile at that point. Well, we'll build one and we'll see what it does. As a as a proof of concept prototype. We just need to finish certain things. We need to finish the uh, Mega Bore. We need to finish um, the upgrade to the EHOF. We have a Penrose Sphere that is currently under construction. A lot going on as far as mega structures is concerned. I wonder if there's going to be any opportunities to increase the number of simultaneous mega structures that we can build. That would be very nice. Let's just check these combat results. Oh, we did not lose anything. What in the world are you doing?
Swords Fleet does not appear to be doing anything. All right. Head for the Sophian system. There's an actual fleet there. Would you look at that? Several fleets, in fact. Uh, How much firepower is that? That's about mm, 30 some odd. Plus the, so about 40,000 combat power. Uh, you actually don't have a ton. So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to hold here. Let's wait till this system is secured. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys. And I'm going to move you over there. All right, good combat. We don't have any. Oh, we lost a Corvette. On the 8th fleet. It's driving me nuts there. Alright, so 8th fleet is going to need a replacement ship. Alright. No, nope, they just stay and park there. All right, so we're going to park our ships and get ready to jump them both. You. Head there. You. Head here. Third fleet. I would like you to begin heading into Panasu territory. Head here. There you go. They must have tried to, uh, Get some troops. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to start moving this into this area here. To support our fleets heading into Panasu territory because they're far away from reinforcements. All right, looks like we're about ready to jump. All right, you guys jump in. You guys jump. Now, are they going to stay and fight, or are they going to emergency warp? Oh, emergency warp. They're going to probably head to the Mirov system. But that's where I have a giant fleet waiting, so... We lost a destroyer and a corvette from the 8th fleet. We destroyed 10. 
10 destroyers, 21 corvettes, and 5 cruisers in the engagement. I'll take it. A fleet, order your reinforcements. Head that way. Fourth fleet, head this direction. And, uh, yeah, we've just about got them all locked down. All right, but I think we're at the end of the episode, so... Go ahead and stop here. Let's, see, let's give orders to the Sixth Fleet. You head here. Seventh Fleet. Head that direction. The Pilgrims. Where are you headed? You're still fighting. Head to the all zero system. Okay. So far, so good. All right. We'll stop here. So if you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.